Good morning guys, I'm outside in my backyard right now because everybody's inside and I don't want them to listen to me talk. But it is Saturday and I woke up to my sister looking at me from my bedroom door. Um, so that was a surprise, she never comes, well not never comes down, but it's been a while since she's come down. She lives about an hour and a half-ish from here maybe, not like an hour. So she is in town and we are going to go to the farmer's market here in Angleton. So I haven't been there since I worked at the coffee shop and we like had a booth there, which was like last year. So <laughs> I'm excited to see what's out there. So yeah, I just ate a sandwich because I was gonna eat breakfast, but then it was almost 11 o'clock. So I was like, okay, I'll just make a sandwich. <laughs> but yeah, I need to go drink some caffeine and let's get this day started. Okay, we just got home from the farmer's market. It was really cool and fun, and now I think we might be going downtown to eat for lunch, and then I'm gonna head out to Market Days, which is basically a huge farmer's market, with my friend Kelsey. Very fun-filled day. Um, I'm excited. Oy, oy, oy. Okay, so I hope you can hear me. Um, we are headed to the Dirty South again in Angleton in downtown I mean duh hopefully I can get some better footage this time than I did last time I'm meeting my friend Kelsey out at market days at around 145 that should be fun hopefully I don't spend too much money I have a certain amount of cash that I'm bringing to spend so I probably won't even film while I'm out there and Blake is coming back into town today so I'll probably go see him later tonight so yeah that's the plan right now. It's been actually like, I thought I would have nothing to do today and it turned out being completely opposite. I'm kind of glad about that. Okay, so I just got done at market days. Um, it was so fun getting to hang out with Kelsey and just talk and chill and look at a bunch of stuff. There was so many people there though. It was like hard to even get in and out of like the little booths or whatever. But it was still fun. I got a funnel cake. I have half a funnel cake sitting in my seat to bring home to my parents. Because I like wanted a funnel cake. It smelled so good. But I knew I wouldn't be able to eat it all. So I'm just like staring at this funnel cake sitting in my seat. But I did get one thing. So I'll show y'all real quick. I got this shirt. This says gobble gobble gobble. And it's like yellow with a little bit of bleaching throughout it. It looks so cute. Got that for Thanksgiving. So that's all I bought though. That and the funnel cake and a water bottle. Um, so change of plans. Blake wants to bring the trailer back to Shreveport tonight and load it up tomorrow and then come back tomorrow. So I'm about to go home and pack a bag. Not sure what's gonna happen, so yeah, it's crazy. But that's the plan now. Okay, so I just got home and both of my parents are napping. Now he's saying he might not want to go today, so she would make up his mind but it's fine i'm just gonna chill and watch youtube until i i really feel like we're just gonna end up leaving in the morning but i mean i have to pack a bag anyway so probably gonna watch some youtube for a little bit chill out because i'm feeling like tired and have a headache and then i'll pack my bag but it ended up being like such a crazy day and i thought i was gonna be doing nothing <laughs> so change of plans round three we're staying here still tonight um, I packed a bag and we're gonna leave early in the morning, so I'm about to go head to Center Court Pizza in Lake Jackson. That's where him and his friend are. I'm gonna go meet them and probably just have, I don't, know, I don't even know if I'm hungry right now, but 
Probably not gonna stay up too late. I'm already super freaking tired, but I'll see you tomorrow. Where's almost fuel? Fuel, fuel. No, <laughs> oh, so cute. <laughs> Here's your nipple. Thanks. You're welcome. Whoa. The bottle's different. I know, right? Weird. It's weird. Sorry for locking me in the car. If you were a dog, I would've gotten a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did technically lock the dog in here also. Well, there's a human watching him, so you would've gotten a ticket. Oh. But it's not that hot, so. Yeah. That's fine. I was really cold anyway, <laughs> so. So we just got to Shreveport and I had a random craving for chicken nuggets from McDonald's. I haven't had these in so long and Blake got some too. But just the nuggets because it's 2.41 and we're going out to eat for dinner later. We're hauling the trailer which is intense and that's going to be fun to go over the railroad tracks. Oh it's bouncy. <laughs> okay so it's now what like 6.30? 6.40. It's now 6.40 and we are about to go to dinner. We've just literally been chilling all day. So whenever we got home from McDonald's. All right, so we're gonna put the trailer in the driveway. And uh, so what happened was, as Sarah always says, I went to back the trailer in. All of a sudden I hear something scraping. I'm like, what the heck? Cause I thought the end of the trailer was like hitting the driveway, which didn't make sense. I'm like, cause me and my brother backed in a few weeks ago. And uh, went to do it again, same thing. So I got out, looked at the trailer. The jack had come down, like, which you actually picked the trailer up with. And so somehow it had come down as we were driving, I guess from the thing spinning around or whatever. And so I bit the jack and had to actually take that out to back it up into the driveway. I went to Advanced Auto Parts, Pet Boys, Bass Pro. So I'm gonna have to go, wait till I get home to get my impact and some self-tapping screws to put a, the one that you can actually flip up on, which, I mean, that's not the kind that was on it, but that's the kind that it worked. Anyway. We're now gonna have to take the trailer to go to dinner because I don't wanna pick it up and have to put it back on. Mainly because it's on a downhill slope, so when you pick it up, it starts going down. We actually attempted it, but it was just like... Sketchy. I could get it up and off, but getting it back on is a problem. So yeah, we're gonna go eat at this place that we've been driving by, but never Since stopped at. Since we first at. came up here to go look at houses, like... Yeah, called Posadas. Four months ago? Of course, it's Mexican food, but... So that's what we're gonna do, and then we're gonna come back home and probably go to sleep, because I'm tired. And tomorrow, we up this couch, that table, that bed, that other bed, not the fridge, the microwave, because I bought that. Plus everything else that we can fit in the truck. So whatever else we can fit in the truck and the trailer is going with us. So tomorrow's gonna be a fun, long day. We'll keep y'all posted. Peace. <laughs> okay, we are home from dinner now. It was okay. Yeah, it, was, it was all right. I mean, not the best for a big Mexican restaurant that we passed by a few times. I mean, there wasn't a lot of people there, which was already like a red flag. Service was, they didn't, I mean, we were, there's like three other groups there. They came and checked on us twice. Yeah, and it was like, we, anyway, yeah. Service it, it wasn't is Sunday, great. So, I, mean, um, I don't blame them. I'm tired too. The service wasn't great. Just like the salsa was okay. It wasn't even really spicy. The chips were good. The chips were good. Um, it's okay. The margarita was a little too sweet, not very strong, but overall it was okay. There's another place here though that has Mexican food that's way better. It's called Superior Bar and Grill. If you're having trip but for it's weird it, because you need to go there. You walk it, like you show up there, you're like Superior Bar and Grill. I thought it was a freaking like steakhouse or something. You walk in, waiters and waitresses are wearing like you know a black vest and a black bow tie. But that place was really good. Was they had amazing margaritas, and then they gave you like this whole like huge glass full of salsa you didn't run out. yeah i like that place a lot better so anyway we're home now heater's finally on i'm freezing i'm wearing lake jacket it's a I high of, bring it's one. a low of 63 tomorrow she's freezing cold i'm it's, so cold it's 64 inside the house which feels amazing to me to sleep in especially so let me show y'all what blake did while he was here by himself all right so the other day just here you know packing stuff up getting ready to leave i really wanted a steak for dinner that night so i was gonna go to the store and buy one you know like 12 bucks, you get a nice big steak. About two or three o'clock in the afternoon, a dude shows up at my house. Like some guy just comes and knocks on the door, what the heck? Went and looked at the door, some guy, it was, some dude was walking away. 
And then saw me open the door. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Uh, I'm, you know, he was going basically door to door selling steaks. Out of a big box, if you can see. I should have known, don't buy a steak out of a box. I like. I mean, the fact that you had to get a box this big. Yeah. But anyways, so I, the whole price, the price for the whole box was like 260 bucks or so. So like, nah, I'm not interested. Like, that's a, way too much. I'm not going to pay that much for steaks. So like, 150 I'm like, nah, dude, I'm like, I really don't need that many steaks. Five minutes after talking, whatever, he's like, all right, tell you what, 125 129 whatever it was. Next thing you know, I've got six boxes of steak. I say keep frozen. I've had two of them so far. Like, two steaks, not two boxes. <laughs> But uh, they actually weren't that bad. The only thing I don't like is they say keep frozen. So you have to take it out, let it thaw, marinate it, and then cook it. I've had one of the strips and one of the fillets. They're actually not bad. They're not like, you know, H-E-B quality, obviously. I mean, nothing around here is. But they're actually not bad for, you know, $3 a steak per each. Two to three bucks each. Everybody's fillets, strips, maybe a sirloin in there, I don't know. But yeah, he bought- Still, that many freaking steaks. At least you know it's crazy. Yeah, I mean, I know, but it's steak. The house is so, like, empty and sad because of everything gone. And, like, this whole wall was decorated. All the decorations are off the wall in here, too. The only decorations left are these. Because I forgot to put those in the truck. That's the main reason why. At least I'll finally get my chair for my desk. <laughs> We're probably just going to chill out, watch TV. But I just had to show y'all. Are you gonna hold it for me? Yeah. So. No, hang on a second. Aw, oh, so cute. Yeah, we're probably just gonna hang out and go to sleep because I'm really freaking tired. So. And by the way, most of her pool vlogs involve me. The Colorado trip was completely her, but like, if you've seen the Valdosta, the Florida one, that was my idea. So. Yeah, and the away boarding in 39 degree weather. That you was. You better not drop my camera. I'll freaking slap you. <laughs> That's just me. That's an expensive camera. That was freezing cold. A horrible idea. Oh, hey, I can see myself. Yeah, you because know, every time you like throw the tripod around, like you don't just turn it, you like throw it and catch it again. Yeah, that. Do not no. do that. Quit. Ugh. I just paid so much money for that. We'll talk to you all tomorrow. Insurance. Bye. <laughs> hey. What are you doing? I thought what you mean. Random bedroom stuff that every guy unpacks. <laughs> Uh, good morning, sunshine. Morning. He got up and was already up and ready by the time that I woke up. I was tired. But now I'm up and ready. And we're going to go to Starbucks. Woohoo! With the trailer attached to the truck, I'm not going to the drive through I know. That's why I got all ready. Are we ready? Yeah. Right, Looks well, so bare and empty in here. Are you going to go with us too? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> the grass is so dead. I'll be right back. Start doing trash. <laughs> That's trashy. Cool. I slept for so long. Ooh, my hair looks so bad and weird. Dude, I wish it was not like this cold year round. Because like the way would, but it would be kind of cool if it wasn't cold year round. It would actually be cool. <laughs> <laughs> We're here. Dang, that was fast. Told ya. Didn't because have to wait 45 minutes. Cause this is a good Starbucks. Lake Jackson Starbucks. <laughs> Got the goods. Now we have to go pack and load stuff, meh. And then drive five hours. Yeah. Dude, this is gonna be what I miss most about living here. <laughs> it's all the cool planes that fly over. Like that's so cool. Do you hear how loud it is too? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like you can hear it from inside. All right, I got my stuff. Oh, I got my stuff. I'm ready. Uh, we you ready to go? No, we got couch, table, bed, dresser, other bed, that thing, whatever you call it. Thing, like door. Oh, well, this is only my stuff, so. Uh, this is yours, yeah. Oh, psh, yeah, crap. <laughs> All right, I guess I'll help you. Talon, do you want help? You want help? Huh? Look how dirty these floors are for moving and stuff. Cray cray. So, we got pretty much everything packed up. This is what we're looking like now. That's turned over because we had to take the legs off. This thing can probably fit in the back too. And then we got this whole room cleaned out already. 
The problem with this is that we don't have the right size wrench, so we have to go buy one. But this has to go because the carpet cleaning people are coming tomorrow. This is already empty. Hi, Blake. Hey. Everything is pretty much out except for that soap thing. And yeah, empty. So sad. Pretty sure I got everything out. Oh, we gotta get the towels out of there too, but pretty much everything. Pretty much everything's packed. So we gotta go get a wrench. And I changed shirts because I got hot. So I'm wearing a t shirt now. And we're gonna go get a wrench and probably lunch, even though I'm not really that hungry. Come back, load everything up, and then head out. So that's the sitch. Look at that one. <laughs> He's like, ooh, comfy. All right, hopefully, this is the right one. We'll see. I look like an egg with my hair up, but anyway. We just got some of the big stuff loaded onto the trailer. I'll show you actually. And we're gonna be able to put the king size bed on here too. Awkward, the neighbor's outside, that's awkward. But uh, sorry. But uh, yeah, we, we should be able to put the king size bed and then we're gonna lay the queen size flat yeah, on top of it. Fit perfectly between the couch and the entertainment center. Cause I mean, I have like, I'm saying the table will fit like right there between the couch and the entertainment center. Yeah. I just need to get a blanket to put underneath it. And that would be perfect. I hate how people speed through here like that. But uh, yeah, so that's the progress now. And then the garage. Yeah, oh my god. And you still have to take down all the decorations in here too. Nah, it's, it's, it's gonna be an hour to put them up. It shouldn't take me five minutes to take them down. We are. I ordered food. Chinese. Yeah, on waiter. So oh, like request of Chinese. So we we got Chinese food. We're next from McDonald's. <laughs> oh yeah, true. So we're about to eat because the food's about to be here. We're gonna eat, finish packing up, and then head back. So excited. <laughs> Are you having fun? No. Are you excited for Chinese food? No. Actually, a little bit. You're the one that asked for it. <laughs> Yummy, delicious, so excited. Your road to glory will be rocky, but fulfilling. Well, that was a fail. <coughs> all right, got it all loaded up, strapped down. This should be interesting. Oh, we need to tape that. Inside, we have a puppy dog. It's awful. He's literally laying on top of pillows and blankets. You look so cute. <laughs> I'm so tired. And I am not looking forward to this five hour road trip with this crap behind us because I feel like something's gonna happen. I hope nothing happens, but I don't know, we'll see. But you'll know if something happens. 